Greetings, New Bedford School families. I am Interim Superintendent Andrew O'Leary. And as we transition into the cozy months of November and December, I'm reminded of the importance of literacy in our lives and its profound impact on our students. Now, literacy is not just about reading and writing. It encompasses listening, speaking, and understanding. So yes, reading is fundamental, and reading plays a vital role in literacy. But, uh, and as children grow, the way they engage with books and texts evolves. So think about our young learners, pre-K to first grade. Now they delight in picture books, rhymes, and sing-alongs. And these early experiences with texts laid a foundation for their love of reading. Older elementary students, second to fifth grade, they engage with chapter books and start exploring different genres. This is when many students discover their favorite authors, like Mo Williams or Roald Dahl. When we get to middle schoolers, 6th to 8th grade, they dive into more complex narratives, exploring authors such as J.K. Rowling or Rick Reardon. Now, this season, many of us will curl up with a cherished book or consider gifting one. There is that unique charm in holding a hard copy book, turning its pages and immersing oneself in a story. So I would make an ask of you that we move to hard copy books this season and avoid digital distractions. Now, in my visits across our schools, it's heartening to see those hard copy books everywhere. From our building libraries to classrooms, you see Patricia Polacco's heartwarming tales and Dr. Seuss' whimsical rhymes. The joy of reading is palpable throughout our classrooms. And when I'm visiting, my own happy memories of reading and school peak when I see in-class book bins, books by Roald Dahl, such as The Witches and James and the Giant Peach. And who can fail to be inspired by the in-school posters and murals throughout our buildings? Last week I saw posters of Amanda Gorman, our National Laureate, and Hathaway's um, fantastic Matilda mural. Now historically, the United States has always been a beacon of literacy, and we must continue this tradition in our community and champion the cause of education and knowledge dissemination. And we are fortunate to reside in a city with a vibrant library network. If you have not visited a New Bedford City Public Library, I encourage you to do so. I encourage every family to explore the City of New Bedford Library resources and cultivate your love for reading. Now, in district, as part of our unwavering commitment to literacy, we have sent home early literacy screenings. This will help us and you identify and support our young readers in a multitude of ways. And those ways we can support lit early literacy go beyond reading and writing. So while reading and writing are crucial, there are other ways we, you, parents and caregivers can boost literacy. You can engage in storytelling. You can share family histories and tales. This enhances listening skills and cultural awareness. How about playing games? When we play board games, card games, and even digital games, we can discuss and talk about strategy, expand vocabulary, and expand critical thinking. Literacy extends to daily routines. Cooking together and shopping together can introduce new words and concepts. This fosters both language and life skills. So in conclusion, yes, literacy is the bedrock of education. Its importance cannot be overstated. And it is everywhere. Let's celebrate it, not just in schools, but in our homes and communities as well. So here's to a season of stories, learning, and connection. Now this week, we also reflect on Veterans Day and honor those who have served our country. Sadly, we must note the turmoil and conflict facing the world today, and we must be grateful that so many of our fellow citizens, past and present, have stepped forward to serve their communities and our nation. Veterans deserve the peaceful world they have sacrificed so much to create. When President Dwight Eisenhower visited the Veterans Cemetery at Omaha Beach, Normandy, he stated that those lost on D-Day bought time for us. He said, that we need to do a better than we have before. He said we must find some way to gain an eternal peace for the world that our veterans deserve. I can't help but note that as part of our commitment to literacy, it's about reading and sharing stories of our veterans, their sacrifice and their commitment to a peaceful world. From my own schooling and favored works of poet poetry, I think of the World War I combatant and poet Robert Vernetti who wrote, but maybe call, God will cause to be, who brought forth sweetness from the strong, out of our discords, harmony sweeter than the birdsong. If you can, 
please be sure to join the City Veterans Parade November 11th at 11 a.m. Thank you for your commitment to our city and to our New Bedford students. Hi, I'm Taya Leone, and you're watching New Bedford Cable Network. Good for you. <laughs>